Today, I am spawning humans. This is pretty much my Garden of Eden, and I'm making humanity out of the dust. I have no idea if women are a part of this creation, but they could be. And what I just realized is I'm not actually making any new humans, so what is actually going on? That is the question. All I know is I'm increasing my level at the top, but this number right here is not moving, so I need to spend 30 humans to build a house. There's my lovely cottage. It might be a bit cramped because I'm trying to fit 30 people into one house, but I'm sure they'll manage. So now when I click, I'm actually gaining humanity. It's not just frozen at 30, so I can buy a couple more houses, so let's do that. We are building a village. Or maybe I'm not actually spawning humans. What if I'm actually causing their death, sending them to their doom? Well, I don't really care. I have enough to buy a tavern. It's going to give us 10 humans every single second, so let's buy that. And now without clicking, we are making population. So I am a creator. I am not killing things. I bring life, not death. Just like the most high. All right, let's buy another tavern. And how about three? So we have three taverns. We're now making 30 humans every single second. I think when I click, I'm getting at least... Oh, I'm getting three. As you can see on my... Oh, split in the mines. The miners have come across a split deep down in the cavern. Should they take the left tunnel or the right? Well, I like to go right. So let's take the right. And what happened? I'll have to click it. Ah, the infested mine gives minus 1% total. Okay, so how do I destroy it? If I click to the side, it's not doing anything. I'm still at only plus two every single click. Let me run my auto clicker. Oh no. Can my auto clicker destroy the infested mine? That is the question. Oh, okay, there we go. I click something. Ghosts have been sighted in the city's taverns. You could welcome them or ask your most trusted wizards to get rid of the ghosts. Uh, let's just get rid of them. I don't like evil spirits. So there's my wizard. What's he give me? He gives me plus 3% total. That's nice of you, Mr. Wizard. All right, let's buy some more homes. I want to fill up my village. Oh uh, yeah, look how many homes I'm buying. <laughs> We're just going to fill up the entire screen. So now we run the auto clicker. The auto clicker is kind of cheating. We have found the shelter for flowers. A merchant comes to your city and asks for a place to set up his flower shop. Do you provide him a plot of land? Yes, I like flowers. Give me something good. So the flowers give me a plus 1% total. That's not... Oh, I'm getting plus 33 every single click now. Well, that's nice. Let's buy a watchtower. It's going to give me plus 40 humans every single second. Actually, it's not. It's giving me plus 40 just per click because it has to have the slash S. So honestly, I want to buy more taverns because these are what give me humans every single second. So I'm actually going to spend all my money on taverns. Did I say money? I meant human slaves. Did I say slaves? I meant friends. I'm really sad about this infested... Okay, I don't know what just happened. My auto clicker brought this out here, but we're getting plus two per second, so it was actually a win. And I can now afford a herbalist hut. It costs 20,000 humans, but it will give me 1,000 every single second. So that's a worthy sacrifice. It's just our village population is going to drop for a little bit. But just for 20 seconds, unless I start clicking with the auto clicker and then we make up for it instantly. So when I level up, that's when I get a new mission. So we level the goblin settlement. Scouts have found a large goblin settlement nearby. You could train warriors to wipe it out or establish contact and invite them into your city. No, let's kill them. Yeah, stupid goblins. Oh, no, we got minus. Oh, dang it. Wait, actually, I can't say. Oh, wait, no, we got plus. The paladin barracks. Plus 3% per click. Well, that's really nice. When I click, I'm getting plus 77 humans. My city is starting to thrive. It's making me happy. Let's buy some more herbalist huts and increase our human spawning per second. It's actually going up really quickly. We're getting 5,400 humans every second. Let's actually buy some more, even though they're starting to get really expensive. I need to buy some watchtowers, I just realized. So now when I click, I'm getting 416 humans. So the auto clicker is going to be... Yeah, it's kind of cheating, but I don't care. Okay, well, auto clicker just bought something for me. It gives plus 2% per click, but minus 4% every second. I don't like that. I got to be careful with this auto clicker. It's actually super powerful. It's like I'm a wizard myself. I can now buy an archery range. This is going to give me plus 3,000 every click. So this is when the game is going to start to get crazy. Wait, I'm about to level up. Stop auto-clicking. And the dragon's den. A ferocious dragon is nested near a vital trade route, causing fear among merchants and hindering commerce. You could recruit a group of skilled dragon slayers or seek the help of a wise dragon tamer. Let's go get the dragon tamer. I'm tired of killing. So here's the tamer. We get plus 1% per second. So that was actually a good upgrade. All right, let's auto-click for a little bit. And I'm going to buy some more herbalist huts. Because why not? It's really fun. Okay, it's now costs 294,000. Mysterious mushroom. A large mysterious mushroom has started growing in the middle of the city. You could leave it or pluck it. Well, hmm, I think I should leave it. Mushrooms are yummy after all. So the mushroom does a plus. Look at that. That was a good decision. Plus 0.05% 
per click. Thank you. Speaking of clicking, let's buy another archery range. Actually, I bought two of them. So now my uh, auto clicking is getting us uh, 10,000 humans every single time I click. I can now afford the butcher shop. That's going to give us 100,000 humans every second. So yeah, I think we'll get that. That's a massive upgrade. The next upgrade is a bakery. It costs 35 million. It's honestly not that bad, but you know what? I want some homes. I'm going to run my auto clicker and see how many drop. Ready? Oh, duh. Ah, what just happened? Ruins of the keep. An old ruin has been found somewhere around the city. The citizens aren't sure whether they should rebuild it or just let it be. Well, it's an old ruin. I think we should just let it be. It's probably haunted, so let's just leave it. Was that a good choice? Yes, plus 1% total. I knew it. Yeah, don't build over ruins. Just leave them alone, people. Also, I want more homes. I don't have enough. Okay, well, now one home costs 478,000 humans. But my village is looking really awesome. This is one of the best graphical clicker games I've ever seen. And it's free. I'm quite impressed. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run my auto clicker for a second here, and then I'm going to spend all these humans on a tavern because they need a drink. So let's spend it all. That did absolutely nothing for my overall humanity gain, but it's just fun to make it cost a million humans for one tavern. That's how you know they have a drinking problem. We're about to hit level 10, and there it is, the massive seed. A massive seed appeared in the city overnight. The citizens aren't sure whether they should investigate or just let it grow. I think we should investigate. What well, if it's poison? Okay, what'd it do? Plus 2% total. That's right. I am just making a great great decisions over here. I am a great mayor. All right, let's buy another butcher shop. Actually, I bought two of them. So we're getting 338,000 humans every single second. You love to see it. That bakery is really expensive. So I don't know how I'm going to get to that without spending a ton of humans. But we're at 10.5 million, level 11, an archaeological problem. A mischievous group of goblins has occupied an ancient ruin, hindering important archaeological research. You could send an expedition party to clear out. Yeah, let's kill them. I hate goblins. We got some more plus, plus 2%. Yeah, that's what I thought. Stupid goblins. Get out of my city. Did I say city? I meant region. I control everything around here. All the lands. You're not welcome. Let's buy some more watchtowers. Don't ask me why, but I'm going to spend all my humans on it. Now it costs 3.5 million for one. That was a terrible upgrade. The wizard siege. A group of rogue wizards is using dark magic to terrorize the countryside, causing havoc and destruction. You could seek help from the dark wizards in the city or evacuate the countryside. Wait till the wizards move on. Well, how about we send our wizards? Yeah, go get them. Take them out. We got plus or minus again. Okay. Not the best upgrade, but I guess it's going to work. Don't really have a choice anymore. All right. Let's get some more herbalist huts. Plus 1,000 per second. Really expensive now, and it's not really helping, but I just like spending humans. It's fun. Level 13, split in the mines. The miners have come across a deep split. Should they go left or right? Last time we went right, so let's go left. Please be good. <gasps> Yay, it's good. Plus 3% per click. I like that. We're getting plus 13,000 new babies born every single click. That's a lot of pregnancies. All right. It's time to buy some more archery range. I want this to be really expensive, so spend it all. We're now getting 72,000 every single click, so that's a massive upgrade. The dragon's den. Okay, another dragon's den. Let's just do the dragon tamer once again. Gives me plus one per second, so now we're just repeating quests at this point. I'm not gonna make you watch every single one. Next up, I'm gonna buy a bunch of butcher shops, because why not? We have a ton of money, and each one adds 100,000 humans per second, so we're now making 1.1 million humans every second. That's pretty massive, but if we scroll down, we have a blacksmith. It's 400 million, but it gives us 12 million humans every second. So it's it will quickly make up for it. But before we do that, how about I get a bakery? Because now every time I click, 422,000 humans. That is a happy city. Just look at this population. Actually, you can barely even see the humans anymore when I click. You can kind of see them. Mysterious mushroom again. Let's uh let's just let's leave it. Whatever. I'm gonna buy some more butcher shops. Why not? It's worth it. Making 2.2 million humans every single second. At this point, I can kind of just leave the game running for five minutes, and then we'll see see how much humans I have. Maybe we'll have more than the current world population. It's been about five minutes. I have 818 million humans. It's time to buy our first blacksmith. I just realized I wasn't running my auto clicker when I went to take a crap. Otherwise, we would have had like probably billions of humans. Oh, well, let's buy another blacksmith. So now we're making 27 million humans per second. So what I'm going to do is buy a lot more bakeries because we only have one and this city needs at least 10. There we go. So now I'm making 3.5 million humans every click. Ruins of the Keep. An old ruin has been found somewhere around the city. Yeah, we're going to let it be. We already uh, dealt with this. But I'm really happy that my population is exploring. They're discovering ruins. They're bringing back treasures. And now I'm going to get about 2 billion humans. So we're almost at population of, what, Asia? I don't know. A church costs 3.5 billion and it's going to give me 25 million humans every single click. So let's run the auto clicker for a few seconds. And now I have enough for a church. Is there any room in my city? Okay, it's really small. It's behind this sword here. But now when I click, I'm getting 33.9 million humans. 
humans. So we're soon going to have enough humans to fill up every single planet in the solar system. I think that's pretty cool. Let's buy some more blacksmith because they give me humans every single second. And now I'm getting 93 million. That's a massive number. And if you're not impressed, then who are you? Hey, look, I can afford another church. I think that sounds good. Actually, I can afford two. So now when I click, I'm getting at 96 million. But a farm costs 40 billion humans. So I think I'm gonna have to run this auto clicker for a bit. And by a bit, I mean about 10 seconds and then we'll have enough for the farm. Would you look at that? We have 40 billion humans. Let's buy our first farm. This is gonna increase our humans per second by 10 times. So here we go. <laughs> Bam. Okay, now this game's just getting crazy. The numbers are getting so big. A guard tower costs 440 billion. Then every time I click, I'm gonna get 5 billion humans. And then if we scroll down here, the numbers just get bigger and bigger. But we're actually only four settlements away from completing the game. So let's get auto clicking. And what I want to do is, well, how about we buy a bunch of bakeries? And by a bunch, I mean spending all of our humans because it's fun to spend everything. But don't worry, we can quickly recover our losses. So I am actually a murderer. I figured it out. Every time I buy something, a bunch of people die. You know what? We're going to get everything to at least level 100, starting with the tavern. I'm just going to keep buying taverns until it's so expensive. Actually, no, we'll get to level 100 and then we'll stop there. Let's take the watchtower to level 100. I love doing this in clicker games, by the way. Oh, no, I messed up 101. Okay, we have to have everything be even. Okay, the herbalist house. Definitely want you to be level 101. Okay, it's getting really expensive. 1.7 billion per level, and it only gives me a thousand humans per second. That's not a good investment, but I don't care. I can just auto click and get more. Well, well, the archery range. This is going to get really expensive really quickly. It's already costing a billion around level 70, and I don't even have enough to take it to level 100 because level 95 costs 14 billion. So it's going to be really hard to level that one from now on. So now what I'm going to do is level up the butcher shop. We'll take this as far as we can go. Let's just auto click it. So we got to level 73. It didn't really help that much because we're still at 1.1 billion humans every single second. But now we're getting to the, the actual buildings that matter. But before we do that, I am going to take the archery range to level 100. Uh oh, it's level 99. I need 22 billion. Okay, get out of here. Dragon trainer. Okay, so then we do click this. We got archery trainer to level 100. That's pretty amazing. But now the butcher shop, it's 5.7 billion per level. That's just ridiculously expensive, but I'm determined to get it there. So let's start leveling it up. Come on. 11.8 billion every single level. Oh no. I still need 19 levels to get it to level 100. It's going to take so long. This leveling system keeps you from auto clicking AFK because look what happens when I hit the next level. My auto clicker is still running, but I'm getting no clicks. So you would just have to keep the mouse just right on the button and hope that you're not ruining your progress with really bad upgrades. But you know what? Who cares? All right, let's try to get my butcher shop to 100. I don't have enough. It's yeah, only level 89. That's kind of painful. So I think it's time to buy more churches. That's just going to increase my clicking. And then let's buy a couple of farms. They're really expensive, but they do give me 1 billion every second. And that is quickly adding up. So yep, going to buy two more. In fact, let's take the farm to level 10. I think I might have enough to take the butcher shop to level 100 finally. Come on, ready? Uh, oh no, I'm four levels away. It's ridiculously expensive now. It's 62 billion per level. <laughs> oh well, I'm committed. Level 100. Yeah, we got it. Oh wait, level 101 was what we were going for. Yep, my bad. Here, let's just get each one there. And there we go. We got everything up to 101. So now we're on the bakery. Yeah, this is actually probably not going to be possible to get to level 101. Let's just wait and see what happens though. Let's save up for the guard tower. It's 440 billion, but it's going to give me 5 billion humans every click. Right now, we're only getting 330 million. So it's going to be a huge upgrade. So here we go. Our first guard tower. Bam. So now I'm getting 7.2 billion humans every click. That is the biggest upgrade we could have ever hoped for. I now have 1 trillion humans. Ooh, actually, 2 trillion humans just like that. Absolutely massive upgrade. Okay, so... Oh, no. I just ran my auto clicker over the guard tower. So now I'm getting 41 billion humans every click. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's going to help us get our bakery to level 101. So I'm not too upset about it. And there we go. Level 101. Awesome. All right, let's get uh, to the blacksmith now. We have 9 trillion trillion humans uh, on the earth. Did I say earth? I meant in my little village here. Come on, blacksmith. You can do it. Oh, no. It's 1.3 trillion per level now. So I just got to click a little bit and then we should have enough. All right, let's try it. We got 10 trillion humans. I got to level 99, 100. Okay, one more level and then it's good. Bam, there we go. So our blacksmith is maxed out. Just kidding. Uh, level 101 is not the max, but it is for me. I say I get a few more guard towers because I like running my auto clicker. So now I'm getting 64 billion humans every click. I can afford the library, which is going to give us 26 billion. 
billion per second. So we're going to buy one of those. That brings us up to 44 billion humans every second if I don't play the game. But my auto clicker is broken. So why would I want to do that? I think it's really great spawning humans with my mouse. I'm at 21 trillion. The guild hall costs 45 trillion. And every click, it will give you 700 billion humans. Well, let's see how far we can get the church. And then we'll determine if we need that upgrade, which I can already tell that we're going to need it because this is starting to get really expensive. We got to level 81. Yeah, we're going to need a guild hall. But it's 45 trillion. I changed my mind. How about we get some libraries? Each one is giving us 26 billion humans. That's a pretty massive upgrade. We're so close to getting the very last structure here. This one is 1.4 trillion per second once we get to that. But we need a guild hall, so let's save up for it. And there we go. 45 trillion humans. I'm going to buy one. Oh, so now when I click, I'm getting 1.1 trillion humans. There it is, the castle. 450 trillion humans to build it. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to go focus on our church here. Let's try to get to level 101. We uh, need 15 more levels, so it's going to be pretty hard. Look how fast we're going up. 100 and... Oh my gosh, we're actually getting so many humans. Wait, I'm going to be able to afford the castle in like two seconds. Ready? And there we go. We can afford it. Yay, let's get it. Bam! 1.8 trillion humans every single second. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Okay, so then we add the auto clicker. Okay, we're just owning. Oh, look, the next stage. Wait, there's another stage. Uh-oh. Well, we have to see what that is. Let's first get our church to level 101. So there it is. And now we can focus on the farm. How far can I get this with 386 trillion humans? Not really sure, but I'm just going to click a bunch. We're making so many humans now. It's actually crazy. And we're at level 99 and 101. There we go. So everything is level 101 so far. This is so funny. Okay, guard tower. 808 billion humans to build one. Well, let's uh, just run the auto clicker on it. We got to level 61. So now when I click, I'm getting 1.5 5 trillion humans. It's not bad at all. That's not a lot though. What I need is a, a guild hall because one guild hall is going to give us 700 billion humans. So yeah, we're going to buy several of these. So now when I click, I get 7.8 trillion humans. Okay. So this is just taking us to a massive amount. Yeah. We're at, uh, yeah, this is 5,000 trillion. We're at 1,500 trillion just like that. So we're going to get to the next stage. No problem. But because I like to suffer, let's first get my guard tower to level 101. And I don't have enough because because one level costs 207 uh, billion. Sorry, 207,000 billion. It's a ridiculously huge number. So big, in fact, I don't know what comes after trillion. I think it's quadrillion. So this is at, we're at 3.5 quadrillion. I think I can finally take this to 101. Yes, just barely. All right, library, you're up next. How far can my current money take? Only to level 50. Uh-oh. It's gonna be a bit of suffering. Let's put everything into the guild hall, see what happens. Because each level of guild hall gives us 700 billion. So we're getting 24 trillion every click now. Yeah, that's just crazy. All right, castle. I'm going to buy some of you, actually. With all those castle upgrades, we're getting 13.3 trillion humans every second. All right, now we're easily going to get to the five quadrillion that we need. And there we go. Okay, next stage. Let's see what happens. Ready? Bam. Oh, boy. Now we're in the desert. Okay, well, I think we'll uh, deal with these desert people next time.